Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. This coming Sunday, you can join Spark Community Cafe for an Easter buffet in Woodford County. Yeah, joining us this morning to tell us more is Isaiah Screech and Deborah Bowman. We hear food and the two of us are immediately hyped up. So talk to us a little bit about this buffet. Okay, so this Sunday, as you said, at Spark, we will have our Easter buffet. Um, we've been running a buffet ever since we opened in 2019. Um, on our buffet for Easter, we try to bring along, well, prepare some of those traditional mm -hmm. foods that you would find at home on your um, parents or grandma's table for Easter, such as ham, uh, mac and cheese, corn <laughs> pudding, um, potato salad, oh. rolls, all those good all desserts, the, good the cakes, the pies, all that stuff. But do they taste like grandma's cooking? Oh yeah, they taste like grandma. I was trained by grandma. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, one of our volunteers at Sparks calls me grandma's hands. <laughs> she oh, said, I love all that. your stuff tastes like it was cooked by grandma. And, um, you know, we pride ourselves in bringing the most freshest and local ingredients that we can possible to um, Woodford County there at the cafe to be able to provide good wholesome food for all of our patrons that come in and we would love to see you all there on Sunday. Yeah. So tell us exactly where you're located so we can come So we are you. located at 175 North Main Street um, there in Versailles. Um, you can call and make reservations at the cafe. You can hit us up on Facebook. Um, we're open from 11 to 2. If we're not there, you can leave a message. We'll mm -hmm. get you. Um, we'll put you down on the list and make sure you have a place at the table. How'd you get started doing this? I got started at Spark or just, just in general just, cooking? Just in general doing it? Um, cooking's always been a passion of mine. Ever since a kid, I've always enjoyed to cook. And um, I think it was more of an outlet for me to be creative. Uh, when I was at home, I didn't really have much to do when I there in Danville where I grew up. Um, my grandma was always cooking something. We could get off the school bus, you could smell something coming out the window, walking up the street. It was a pie, it was a cake, it was rolls, it was something. Right. And when we was um, in, with her in the kitchen, of course, you had boundaries. So you couldn't just do whatever you wanted to while yeah. grandma was mm -hmm. cooking. You could, you had to walk a certain way when a cake or a pie was in the oven. <laughs> yeah. So I think that the fun and the joy of it came from watching her and all the stuff that she done as we were growing up as kids. And it just always kept me, you know, yeah. inquisitive about putting stuff together and just yeah. experimenting all the time. And um, it's blossomed into this. So, Devron, tell me a little bit about why you're so excited about the Easter brunch. Because clearly you were static. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's just, the food. It's, it's, yeah. It's the food. You know, it gives you, makes you sleepy sometimes. It's yeah. so good. It's, it's one of the best mac and cheeses that you'll you'll ever find for sure. Oh. Um, but you know, beyond the food, uh, the mission. You know, uh, as always, with Spark being a nonprofit cafe, a portion of each meal that is sold whether it's Easter or during our normal operating hours, is paid forward to provide meals to the insecure. So it's kind of like you can come in and enjoy time with friends and family there at the cafe and feed your body, but nourish your soul you know, on the way out by providing for your community too. Why do you think it's important to provide for your community in today's society? Uh, because times are hard, you know, for everyone, and food insecurity doesn't necessarily mean being without food. It could mean being without enough food. So, um, you know, that plays a role in diminishing your, your focus, your stamina, your energy, your willingness to be around other people. So, um, you know, having a good home-cooked meal, especially by James Beard, you know, semi-finalist chef, um, it's just, it's nourishing all around, so. I'm sorry, semi-finalist chef? Yes. Would you like to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> because that just caught my ear. <laughs> so this past year we was, um, I myself was nominated for um, the James Beard Award. It's phenomenal. So we made it to. Um, That's what it was. I knew I heard your name yeah. several yeah. times before. We was, we was a semifinalist um, and that was such a great honor for us. And it has been a tremendous journey for myself and for the cafe and then bringing Davron on as well has been just a huge asset for us. Business there in Versailles has definitely taken off since the nomination um, it was announced. And I mean, now we was just out in the lobby talking about how we just struggle every day just to keep up with the business. It's a great problem to have though. It yeah. is, it's a great yeah. problem to have, especially in um, today's society and what we are all have just came out of with, you know, fighting the rebound from COVID and all right, that stuff. Right. I mean, it's huge for us. So, you know, I'm very grateful um, for all the business that we're able to drive there to Versailles. And as he said, most of all, for everything that's coming there into the cafe, 
knowing that a portion of that is going back to feed the food insecure. And, you know, we pride ourselves in that um, since opening in 2019, we've been able to produce over 50,000 meals for locals there in um, Warford County. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank you.